guys, it's me, Cassie, and this is Piper. She's my puppy. Well, she's not really a puppy. Um, she's more of a dog because uh, she's five years old, but she just moved in with me into my new apartment from my parents' house, and I bought her a new harness. Um, you can't really tell, but it's blue, orange, white, and green, and yeah, so she's, she's not real girly like, like her mama. Get down, sweetie. Get down. Anyways, um, so just kind of hanging out today. Just got off work, you know, the fun stuff. And I'm um, working on reading Fight Club. Um, and I'm almost done. Ooh, just that many pages and then I'm finished. I'm all done. So I'm really, really, really excited. Because it's actually a really good book. And it's way different from the movie. I mean, the movie's still amazing. But, yeah. So, um... Anyways, just been reading that, and I have that whole basket right there full of books. Those are all books. And then that box above it, the little one, is full of books as well. And so my objective for the summer is to read as many books as possible and listen to as much music as possible. Um, as for stuff that's going in my life, I'm just talking to Destiny, who I've mentioned before, and she was telling me about um, this... Uh, porn star that she follows on Twitter, whom I've mentioned before. Sorry, my bra's hanging out of this top a little bit. It's kind of bothering me. Anyways, um, so she's telling, she's mentioned the porn star before and everything, and so then she um, sent me the link to the girl's Tumblr, and so I was looking at it and everything, and. I've come to the real, like, in the video, the girl's, like, with her girlfriend, and they're talking about how they got into, like, some fight, um, like, got into some fight in a parking lot with some girls or something, I don't really know, but I find they were really annoying, and I tell Destiny this, and I'm like, I said, I feel like I would find her really annoying, and sh Destiny says, I concur, hence the K-Rish reference, like, I'd probably scrap with her in a parking lot if I ever came across her cross her. I said, ha Like, even now, I find I kind of want to run her over with my car. And Destiny goes, tag team. I said, damn straight. We can take those backwood bitches down. And she goes, ha Backwoods? I said, yeah. She's from Arkansas. And she goes, oh, I must have missed that part. That actually explains a lot. That's probably not her girlfriend. Then it's probably her cousin. So, uh, mm. So, no, no offense to anyone from Arkansas, but... There are stereotypes for a reason, so um, just throwing that out there. And a uh, little side note, it's up to you to not live up to those uh, stereotypes. Like, I am a natural blonde, but I know which end is up, and I read a lot, and I'm actually really intelligent. Um, yes, I'm tooting my own horn right here, um, just a little bit. I don't know if you heard it or not. Um, but anyways, uh, just kind of hanging out, and then as for today, oh my god, okay, so today, I'm at work, and I'm ringing up this customer, ring up all her stuff, tell her her total, and she reaches full hand into her boobs and pulls out a wallet, like a full-size wallet, like, oh, I'm not talking like a little, you know, one of those little wristlet things, you know, that all the girls carry from coach or whatever, no, I'm talking about a full-size wallet, like, that you could carry your checkbook in pulls it out of her boobs, reaches and pulls it out, okay, and she goes through her wall, I'm just like standing there like, like, and I keep looking over, like, actually I didn't make any faces, I was trying not to, but I keep looking over to my supervisors and I'm like, like trying to get them to see if they see this, trying to get their attention, so they're watching this unfold, so she goes through her wallet, then, I guess whatever money or card or whatever she was looking for wasn't in there. So she reaches in again and pulls out this big envelope of money. Like a full-size envelope. Like one of those ones that like you get your acceptance letter to college in. Like I'm not talking one of the little ones or like a little card. No. Or like, you know, the little, little envelopes. No. I'm talking full-size envelope. Like it's at least this big. And she pulls it out of her boobs. I find it so gross and tacky and annoying when girls stick stuff in their boobs like I can understand you know like I've kept my ID or something you know in in my bra before because you know like you'll be wearing like a dress you know there's no there's no pockets on this 
And I can understand keeping it in there then, but when you're wearing a jacket, like a jacket or shorts and pants and you stick it in your boob, it just, it blows my mind. Like, is it really less effort to stick it down there? You know, I would, I personally don't want to be in a public, in public, like ravaging around in here. Like that's kind of awkward. And like girls that like keep their phone, they're like, oh, it's like right there. And they're like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And you like see it sitting there and you're just kind of like, what the fuck? Like, I don't personally want to walk up to somebody and be like, hey, can I borrow your phone? And then be like, yeah, hold on a second. Here you go. That's when I'm like, mm, no, you can keep that. Mm, no, thanks. Um, I'll, I'll go use the pay phone. I bet it's got less germs and sweat than your boob juice. Like, I'd rather use the thing that the homeless people lick and stick gum on than something that you just pulled out of your sweaty chest. Like... Oh, but I told one of my supervisors about it, and she was like, I think we need to get you some hand sanitizer for year one. So I was like, maybe some alcohol wipes, you know, clean those, because that's just disgusting. Like, seriously? Like, you're going to pull something out? Ugh. I can't find it. I just don't understand how could she could be comfortable, like, keeping something in there. Like, what was she going to pull out next? Like, a freaking cat? Like, oh, let me pull out this dog. You know, let me pull out a banana. Oh, oh, sandwich, lunchtime, Ah, oh, sandwich, like, seriously, seriously? But that's what happened to me today, nothing really all that exciting, um, and like I said, I'm just gonna be reading and listening to music all summer, so if you have any recommendations, anything at all, even if it's like a short book, long book, short stories, poems, whatever, if you have a recommendation of something that I should read, um, post it in the comments below or send it to me on Twitter, which I'll post below, and my Tumblr, my form spring, whatever, just send it to me, be like, hey, listen to this, and I'll be like, okay. Um, same thing goes with music. If you have a band that you're like in love with or a singer that you're in love with, whether you know they're still making music, they're not together anymore, whatever, I'm always looking for something new to listen to, so just tell me about it and I'll definitely give it a try. And if it's totally awesome, I'll probably give a shout out about it in one of my videos or on my Tumblr. I'll be like, oh my god, you know, Pretty Kitty 14 told me about this amazing band. So, you know, or, you know, getting laid on Friday recommended a really great book. And I read it and it was awesome. So, or, you know, you know, whatever. So, any recommendations, I'm always open to them. Send them to me. I love to hear them. And so, doing, you know, I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to tell you about some books that I think you should read. Um, anything by Sarah Dessen. Um, her books are awesome. I love the way she writes. Even though it's teen fiction, I love the way she writes and I love her stories and everything. I just um, got re finished reading uh, This Lullaby for the second time. I've already read it before and I just finished reading it. And it, I, I love it. Um... Uh, read Perks of Being a Wallflower. Um, it's amazing. It'll change your life. Um, definitely by far my most favorite book, um, without a doubt. Um, Great Gatsby, if you've never read it. The Great Gatsby is amazing. Uh, so good, so good. And, um, uh, Brave New World is another really good one. Um, Anthem by Ayn Rand. Or um, Of My Sin Men by John Steinbeck. Um, all really good books. Uh, Girl's Guide to Hunting and Fishing is another really good one. Um, it's a bunch. It's a collection of short stories uh, by the same author. Um, it, they all follow the same thing. I don't know. It's weird to explain. You just have to read it. It's awesome. It's amazing. I've read it like three or four times. So, very, very good. Um, as for music goes, uh, check out Portugal the Man. It's Portugal, period, like a dot, the man. Um, try The Deer Hunter. Um, that's deer as in, like, you're writing a letter, D-E-A-R. Or Drop Everything and Read. Remember that from being in elementary school. Um, which is probably what I'm going to do after this. I'm going to drop everything and read. Anyways, um, check out... Uh, Gaslight Anthem, their music's amazing. Um, Winter Gloves is also really good. Um, uh, Ryan Adams, his music's amazing. He does awesome on the harmonica. Um, the best song I, I've i ever heard in my life is probably his cover of Oasis' uh, Wonderwall. That song is amazing to begin with, but then his cover of it is just phenomenal. 
So give all that stuff a try. Make sure you give me recommendations and po post a comment, like, send this to your friends, whatever, you know. Uh, and, and I hope you have a really awesome weekend. I know I will. I'm going to be working all weekend, but reading too. So have a good weekend, and I love you. Bye.